it's me. And this is Yes Vemba, where we only say yes, unless we want to say no. A lot like other months, but unlike other months, I have my moustache. I don't usually have a good moustache until December. Four weeks just isn't enough time. But I tell you what, at least someone has the restraint to wait until December, because let me tell you something, it is my regret to let you know Chengdu has fallen to a terrible pandemic. I am of course referring to Christmas decorations set up in Yes Vember. I sure as hell didn't say yes to this. Mm. 5th of November I took this. I literally moved all the way to China and still can't escape this bullshit. Oh well. While it's still Yes Vember, why don't I tell you all about a different type of holiday. This Halloween, me and Jarlin dressed up. She went as a witch and I went as a wizard. In fact, she went as Hermione and I went as Rincewind, who all Narnia fans know is the best Hufflepuff in all of Middle-earth. We of course went to a dress-up party at this racing sim arcade. I actually came second place in a contest. It was great and so much more on point than last year's Halloween party. <laughs> Let it never be said that the Chinese folks can't throw a good Halloween party. What the hell is going on with my hair? And also the other pandemic occurred. You know, the boring one. There was one reported case on November 2nd and there have been 26 since. Although it's been three days since uh, there's been a new case, so there's that. We know that there's been no new cases for three days because they've tested. They've tested everyone, including me. Mrs. Oliver was contacted by the community folks, and they said, hey, come and get tested. Despite living next to many unfurnished and dormant apartments, we apparently have quite a few neighbors. Mm, thousands of neighbors, apparently. In give or take a week, Chengdu was able to test over nine million times. I know that because I worked on a video all about it. The actual testing itself wasn't so bad though, we stood in line not for that long. They're quite quick actually. It was cold, but I had a coat, so no worries. This was a nice test, they just deep throated me with a swab. Nothing went in my nose, thank dog for that. We were in and out, and uh, a few days later I got my results back. Not infected, go me. Is this a good look? I don't know why my eyes are so red today. Despite being safe, I've been stuck inside a lot. It's a nice apartment to be stuck inside, don't get me wrong, but uh, man. Man. I was able to go out to make a train video though. I did some presenting for these guys, Chengdu Plus, I think. And that's a video that might end up being broadcast internationally. Unless they know what's good for them. Would you like to see some BTS? I wouldn't. So I'm with the Chengdu Plus people right now, and we're gonna make this video. I do not like this mask one bit. I just realized Line 9 does not have a driver. Look, that's the front of the train. This is really cool. Right now, we've had to stop filming because we might not have permission to shoot here. It's almost midnight. I've not had dinner and we're at Tianfu Plaza. So yeah, stuck inside a little bit, but not entirely. I did a bunch of stuff this month, really. I did 11-11 shopping. I picked up 50 parcels for Jia Lin. I got new PJs. I ate some duck. I saw Dune. I went to a music market festival thingy. I did video stuff. I did loads of video stuff. But more important than all of that, I played Age of Empires 4. And let me tell you all about it. Don't skip, this, this will be interesting. It's educational, I promise. So hey, we're gonna do some Age of Empires today. This is exciting, we're gonna learn some Chinese history. There isn't a campaign though, so we just have to make our own. I'm gonna go against intermediate. I think that's hard enough for me, thank you. And we're going against the Mongols. This is exciting. I mean, not really. All right, so the Chinese get some unique siege units. I'm thinking we're gonna have uh, 
some a good line of siege. We're gonna have some good defenses because they get a wall bonus. We're gonna really give the Mongols a, a good what for. I'm not good with history actually, so a lot of what I'm gonna say is probably wrong. Okay, we gotta go. Get some food, guys. We need a house. Get, give me a lumber camp. And we're gonna need to get some sheep. That's a big part of uh, Age of Empires 4 at the early games, just gathering sheep. So as you can see, our town centre has this beautiful curly bits on the roof of the buildings. I really like this design choice. Good job, China. Good job, ancient eastern architects. I actually ate some uh, some sheep the other day, had some shao cow. I wonder how they cook their meat in the Tang Dynasty. Now, unlike the other civs in the game, these guys don't just do, you know, first age, second age, fourth age, whatever. We have the Tang Dynasty right here. Which, by the way, is from about the year 600 to the year 900. This is the same era as Wu Zetian, so if you've heard of China's only female empress, that, that all went down in this dynasty. Or dynasty, if you prefer. Got more sheep here. I should get back to my town centre, see what's going on at the TC. Idle TC. We can have a look at the house, actually. Is this true to Chinese Tang Dynasty architecture? Archi architect. It looks okay, you got some pots. Got, li got little chickens, I never noticed that before. They got chooks. If you're wondering when the Tang Dynasty relatively takes place, it is actually, I looked this up, 400 years after the Three Kingdoms era, and a thousand years after Confucius. Chinese history is too much, man. I was a bit slow setting people on gold, so that's a problem. Oh, we found the enemy encampment. Here they are. Ah, oh, these stupid Mongols. These guys can move their buildings. It's just not fair. We're ready to go up, I think. Okay, so to go up, we need to select some dudes, and we need to build one of these two things. We can either go for the Imperial Academy or the Barbican of the Sun. These monuments were built a hundred years apart from each other, by the way. This game lies and says they're built at the same time. We're going to build the Imperial Academy, because it means uh, you can collect more taxes with these Imperial officers. I'm actually not sure how that works quite yet. It's not quite the Great Wall, but I've built my first Palisade Gate Wall. Welcome to Jurassic Park! <laughs> We're gonna build the second of my monuments, because if we want to get to the Castle Age, we've got to build this one. Now, apparently one strategy is to actually build this next to the enemy's town centre, because it is very offensive. It's just gonna shoot them endlessly. If you can repair it and guard it, it's, it's a bit of a cheese strategy. I'm not going to go next to the team's town centre, but I'm going to build it here, and it's going to get me some pretty sweet ground. Apparently you can see into the stealthy forest too. Hopefully these five dudes are enough to protect it. Oh no, kill that scout! You'll notice they speak actual Chinese, which isn't new for the series, but um, it's a nice touch. Don't know what that means. What? Didn't catch that. Oh, nuts. Okay, get back here, get back here. Everybody garrison in there. They, they didn't like my monument being so close to them. But look at this. I feel bad for the horses. They didn't deserve to die. They had no part in any of this. But they must die. It's very important to wall up in this one, I find. But I like walling. I like turtling. I'm a noob, what can I say? I know what I like. So the Song Dynasty is when people started using gunpowder. Landmines and flamethrowers, at least primitive versions of them. None in this game though. Oh no. Build some farms, quick. This is a good building. You can build a village, which is unique to the Chinese, and it houses like 30 people? Nope, 40. 40 people. Which is okay by me. This is another thing that annoys me. Why can't I build a wall here? 
Okay, my south border looks good. My north border is... Oh, I should really scout that area out. Oh, sh Having a spot of bother down here, I have this wall, but I don't have much to protect it with. I'm going to use my unique Chinese unit, the Nest of Bees. We don't have mangonels, but we have these instead. And, I mean, they look pretty cool. I like how they shoot fireworks. That's the Song Dynasty for you. It presumably used something a bit like that historically. We're now in the Ren Dynasty, which is when the Mongols actually ran the place. It's the era of Genghis Khan. Hopefully they don't win this battle, though. This is also when the Black Death was plaguing Europe. You know, that's nice and topical, isn't it? Never reached China, Black Death, did you know that? What? How did they get in? Oh, nuts. Is there some sort of mountain path that I've missed? So the infantry that the Chinese use are these palace guard dudes. And as you can see, they've got these little... are they glaives or halberds? I'm not sure. Yeah, these guys are getting in somehow, and I don't know how. Oh, uh, you know what? I've not explored this area here. Maybe there's, like, a path going through that I've just ignored this whole time. That's exactly what's going on. And they're in Imperial Age. Oh. Let this be a lesson to future me. Scout the damn area before you decide you're safe. The Ming Dynasty, best known for the introduction of chili peppers to Sichuan food. This is the time when we stopped eating meat and started eating spicy meat. I'm being attacked, what's going on? Okay, I have an army. Not the biggest, but I think I think if I take it pretty slow and easy, we ought to be able to advance gently into them. I haven't, I've not actually scouted their base yet, that's a good idea. We can just make a scout super easy, and then we can see what we're actually rushing into. These nest of bees are amazing. I'm going to have to look these up afterwards, because I think I'm in love. In China, some of the most popular TV shows are history, sort of, um, history dramas, historic dramas. I'd love to see a TV show actually portray the nest of bees. That would be pretty damn fun. So here we have one of their landmarks. We need to destroy all of those if we're going to win. And we are going to win. One of them down. You don't actually have to shoot it to destruction. You can actually just um, half shoot it and it will burn down. As long as nobody repairs it. That's a nice addition. What the hell is this? Okay, another landmark. China's actually not my favourite team in this game, though. I, I quite like the... Um, Abbasad Dynasty, they're my favourite. But they can't eat pork, that's a big downside to them, they can't hunt boar. You get increased berry speeds, but those guys don't eat bacon, so no boars for me. A silver tree, take it down. We've reached the bit where I don't know what to do with my men, because they just want to go around pillaging everything. That is a landmark. Has been eliminated. Yeah! Jayo, Jayo! I did it. Anyway, yeah, Age of Empires 4. I like it. And that's my month. I was meant to mention at the earlier bit of the video where I just spitfire all of the things I did. Um, I was supposed to mention that I made a donut in Blender. Took a Blender tutorial and I made a donut. And I did some hand modeling. A couple of dudes were just taking photos of uh, a product and they needed a male hand. So I volunteered. I should have asked for money, but whatever. The chap, I think he might have been Indian. Or maybe from Nepal, I'm not sure. He said he was extremely sorry for darkening my skin. I I literally hadn't noticed the skin being darker than usual. That's about it. I don't have any wine to show off this month. I have this melon bread though. It's melon, but it's also bread. 
subscribe if you like melon bread. <laughs>